Now we're going to discuss the low dose versus default settings. So generally, everybody's always using default settings. But when you really want to save dose, then you want to go to that low dose setting. Now on some equipment, whether it's C-arms or in your room, it might be called pediatric, whatever. It still means the same thing. And as you'll see in a moment, we'll show you the control panel that when I you know, hit that button, it's going to basically cut the MA about in half and it's gonna give you a few more KV also. So that's just what it's gonna do is its initial setting, then once you're starting to x-ray, it'll change itself again. But it's always gonna basically stay at half that MA. Because of that, you're using you know, half the dose, but you're also gonna have an image that has much more chance of being a modely image because it's not really, there's not usually enough x-ray to make the perfect image. So you, that's what you have to give up. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and just x-ray uh, our lateral, uh, the, like a lateral lumbar, and, uh, and then we'll do it as a low dose next. So we'll make the first exposure. And there we go. And now we'll go ahead and just send that over to the other screen. And now we'll go ahead and make the next exposure on low dose. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the low dose button. And then here we go. And I don't know how well you can see that difference. I can see it where, where I'm standing, that this is just a modelier looking image. This is, everything about this is smoother. This one just has model. Does it have too much model? Well, that, of course, is always up to you know, whoever is the, the doctor that's doing the case with you. But that's one that you, you, know, you would always love to ask when you go to low dose, because again, you're using half of the MA. So now we're going to redo this whole thing, and we're going to make a 30-second exposure for each one. And then we're going to be able to show you the difference in the doses after 30 seconds of each. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and just start this whole thing over again so that we don't have any you know, dose going at all. And I'm going to uh, make sure I'm off of low dose so everything is regular. I'm going to get my timer going here right now. That dose right now is 9.43 milligray. So what I have to do is go ahead and go into the uh, image directory here, save it. And this one, I forgot to ever put a name on it, so this is going to be the unnamed 773. Now, we're going to go ahead and just start this whole thing over again. We're going to go to new exam. And this time I will remember to actually put in a name. So this one will be, you know, I'll just say LD for low dose. All right. And we're exiting out. So now we're going to make the 30 second exposure with the low dose setting. So I'm going to go ahead and get it all ready on low dose. Let's get my timer all ready to go here. Get it reset and start. What we're looking at right now is a 4.44 milligray. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is go to the image directory, go to my dose summary page, and uh, get a dose summary there, and then I'm going to save that. All right. So this one on the low dose was a 4.44 milligray. Now, when we go back and look at the one I did at the, uh, for the first one, which was the regular, it was that unnamed 773, and we OK it, and we pick it. And now we're at a 9.43. So you can see, you know, that 4.4, 9.0, so not, you know, it's about double. So, and that's what it's supposed to be. You know, you're supposed to be that you're getting half the MA, and because you're using half the MA, you're also getting half the dose. So here, you know, it totally showed you that, you know, when we went to the low dose, we got half of the dose that we had on the default setting. So it's a spectacular way of saving dose to your patient. You just have to sometimes worry that it might be a little bit modely. But when it's not, again, you've saved half the dose to your patient and everybody in the room. So that's definitely the way to go. So here was the low dose versus the default settings with the C-arm. Default came out at 9.43 milligray. And then when we went down to the low dose, it dropped down to 4.44 milligray. So the dose decrease was 52.9.
basically you cut it in half. And that's always what, you know, historically that'll do. If you can go down to low dose, you get to cut the dose to your patient in half.